here, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna do a little Q&A here. I got a list of questions here. We're gonna do a rapid fire. You're gonna hear awesome. directly from the founders. In one minute, rapid fire. Felipe, what does Kiwi do? So Kiwi is an app where students around campus and in the campus, they can order food. And instead of receiving a human, they receive one of our cute robots. That's basically all. And Sasha, what makes Kiwi better than other legacy robot companies? That's a fantastic question. We're able to do way more deliveries per hour with every courier we have outside. We have people who load food into robots, they feed them, they're able to go up to 15 deliveries an hour. Compared to Uber Eats or Grubhub, they can do maybe one or two. So we're way more efficient. 15 deliveries an hour? With one person. Wow. Felipe, tell me about the numbers. Yeah, so we have already delivered more than 34,000 meals. Uh, we're the company that have delivered more meals with robots in the US. Right now, we are getting to 2,000 meals delivered every week. We have a fleet of 100 robots. So right now, Berkeley is the city with the biggest robotic like, delivery platform on Earth. Also, 20% of our users order more than nine times per week. So it's pretty interesting to see how this is going to evolve when people start to have a network of robots so that they can access their city in an easy way and, most important, for free, potentially. Repeat that number of total deliveries that Kiwi has done. because it's Yeah, we have made more than 35,000 orders. And how many total deliveries? Yeah, total deliveries, 35,000 orders. 35,000? Yes. 35,000. And what technological breakthroughs did you have to overcome? Yeah, so one of the interesting parts about, like, just to give you other numbers, we're crossing, there are days that we cross more than 1,000 streets, yeah, and that's, that's pretty challenging. So we have taken an approach that it's a concept named parallel autonomy. So with parallel autonomy, you can have, like, your behavioral networks, you can have the input from encoders, the input from the GPS, input from other sensors, but it's also very important to have inputs from humans. So we have a team of people, and that, like, they make sure that the robots are uh, aligned, they make sure that the robots are, like, that it's safe to cross the streets, and we have right now a ratio of three robots per person, so we have a team that they basically make sure that the robots are perfect, and that have allowed us to don't need to do pre-mapping, so our robots work from day one. We don't need to install extra antennas or like have high-end sensors inside the robot. We just have cameras, a very powerful computer, and we can work from day one. Fantastic. All right, Sasha, the magic. Tell us how you got the community to adopt these robots. It's actually really fantastic to see how the community responds to the Kiwi bots. Right now, they're rolling all over Berkeley, and the reason why people love them is because we built a robot that meshes seamlessly within the fabric of our sidewalk. There are other companies that started building robots that deployed them on sidewalks, but they were building like tanks and washing machines on wheels. Very scary. We wanted to focus on the design. We wanted to build emotion. We wanted to build the empathy. And we wanted to build the connection with the people who matter, people who use the sidewalks. So that's why we iterated a lot on the design. We put in a cute face. It, sometimes it smiles at you, it winks at you. And people absolutely love it. A lot of people ask us, like, what happens if a robot gets tipped over? Well, most of the time, somebody, just a regular person who's walking, just puts it back up within seconds, which is absolutely fantastic to see. Talk a little bit more about how you design the robot so that people really can connect with it. Talk about that a bit. Yeah. So for us, it was really important to start off with something that we would be able to test from day one. That's why we literally had a little shopping basket on wheels, like an RC car. Uh, we just started delivering food with it. Like, it didn't work most of the time, but it allowed us to test how the community would respond, how people feel about it. And people felt really optimistic. So we started taking feedback. We started organizing focus groups and talking with a lot of different folks to understand how they feel. And at the end of the day, we're offering a public service. And it's important that the community accepts this public service. So we can see the hearts flashing <laughs> and the little message there on the Kiwi box. Can you all see that? Kiwi, Kiwi right there. We were so impressed with how Kiwi managed to overcome that hurdle of human robot adoption. It's really been extraordinary to see. So last question is, what are your plans for world domination? Tell us about it, Felipe. Yes, so I think like just taking from, from what Sasha was saying, you can't change the urban infrastructure without people's support, yes? So that's why for us it's fundamental to have the connection to people, to listen to the community, and when we have that, we will be able, like 
as soon as we guarantee that, we are able to like ship more robots. So if we can uh, play the video, uh, right now we are like since last month we started to ship robots to uh, 12 campuses in the U.S. Uh, so uh, we are in. We started with Berkeley. Berkeley was our uh, first campus. We are at our headquarters, and then we started to ship robots around the U.S., across the U.S. And our goal is to in the next year be in the top 30 college campuses in the U.S. We're going to build the biggest robotic network that have ever existed. So we will have next year 500 robots delivering thousands of meals every day to tens of thousands of students, and we will prove that the future is today. And one of the best things about Kiwi Robots is that these deliveries are affordable, exactly. right? That's a key value for Kiwi, right? Yeah, Bringing, making exactly. this accessible. Fantastic. Exactly. All right, y'all ready to order on Kiwi? Download the app. Little Thank plug you. for Kiwi. Thanks so much, Sasha yeah. Thank and you Felipe. Much. Big Thank round of applause for Thank our you. robot companies.